Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another reading. Evening, I should say. Welcome back to another reading of the Bible. I'm going to do as much as I can today in finishing up the Gospel of Luke. I read 12 uh, yesterday. And I'm going to attempt to read a few ch chapters today since 13, 14, 15 are pretty short. So here we go. Chapter 13 of Luke. There were present at that season some that told, some who told him, Jesus, of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. Jesus answering said, said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen, upon whom the tower Siloam fell and slew them, think ye, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? Again, I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. He spake also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. He came and sought fruit thereon, and came and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none. Cut it down. Why cumbereth it from the ground? He, ans he answering said unto him, the keeper of the garden, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it, and dug and dug and dung it. If it bear fruit, well. If it bear fruit, well. And if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. He was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. Jesus, behold, there was a woman who, who had a spirit. Of infirmity eight years uh, eight excuse me 18 years uh, issue of blood I believe and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up her herself when Jesus saw her he called her unto him and said unto her woman thou art loose from thine infirmity he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because that, interesting, because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day, and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work in them, therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him, and answered him saying, Thou hypocrite, doth not teach one of you, Doth not each one of you on the Sabbath day lose his oxen or his donkey from the stall and lead him away to watering? Ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound, lo, these eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? When he had heard these things, all his adversaries were ashamed. And all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him, Jesus. Then Jesus said, Unto, unto what is the kingdom of God like? And whereunto shall I resemble it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and, and cast it into his garden. And it grew and waxed a great tree, and the fowls of the air lodged on the branches of it. Again, he said, Whereunto shall I liken the kingdom of God? It is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal till the whole was leavened. He went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Then said one, one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And Jesus said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in, and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up, and hath shut to, shut to the door, 
shut to the door, shut the door. And and he began to stand outside and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he he shall answer and say unto thee, Thee, I know you not whence you are. Then shall ye begin to say, Ye have we have eaten and drunk in thy presence, and thou hast taught in our streets. But he say, but he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence you are. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when ye shall see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourself thrust out. They shall come from the east, from the west, from the north, and from the south, and shall sit down to the king, in the kingdom of God. Behold, there are our last there. There are last which shall be first, and there are first which shall be last. The same day there came certain of the Pharisees, saying unto him, Get thee out, and depart hence, for Herod will kill thee. Jesus said unto them, Go ye, and tell that fox, Ooh, ow, that's not very nice. Tell that fox, Behold, I cast out devils, I do cures, today and tomorrow, and the third day I shall be perfected. And the third day I shall be perfected. Nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow and, and the day following. For it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, who kill, which killeth the prophets and stoneth, stoneth them that are, who are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together... Yay, Fast and the Furious guy. Uh, how often have I gathered thy children? Would I have... What? Hey, excuse me. Uh, there you go. Sorry. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, who, which killeth, killest, or killeth the prophets, and stoneth them, who are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, as a hen doth gather her brood under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto ye desolate, and verily I say unto thee, ye shall not see me until the time come when ye shall say, Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. Chapter 14 It came to pass as he went into the house of one of the chief Pharisees to eat bread, <laughs> on the Sabbath day that he they watched him, behold, there was a certain man before him who had a, a dropsy. Behold, there was a, 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 a Jesus answering, spake unto the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day? They held their peace. Jesus took him and healed him and let him go, answering them, saying, Which of you shall have a donkey or ox? fallen into a pit and will not straightway pull him out on the Sabbath day. They could not answer him again to these things. He put forth a parable to those who were bidden when he marked how they chose out the chief rooms, saying unto them, When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, lest a more honorable man than thou be bidden of him. He that bade thee and him and him come and say to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. But when thou art, when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that bade thee cometh, he may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher. Then shalt, shalt thou have worship in the presence of them who, sat, who sit at meat with thee. For whosoever exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humble, humbleth himself shall be exalted. He said also to him that bade him, When thou makest a dinner or supper, call not thy friends, nor their brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also bid thee again, and the recompense be made thee. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the, the lame, the blind, thou shalt be blessed, 
for they cannot be recompensed thee. For thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. When one of them that sat at meat with him heard these things, he said unto him, Jesus said unto Jesus, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of God. Jesus said unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many, sending his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. They all with one, ac one consent or accord began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have brought, bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. Another said, I have brought, bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I say thee, have me excused. Another said, I have married a wife, <laughs> and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, began, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor, the maimed, the halt, and the blind. The servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto him, unto the servant, Go out unto the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be full or filled. For I say unto you that none of those men who, who were bidden shall taste of my supper. There went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me, and hate not his mother or his father, mother, wife, children, and brethren, sisters, yea, and his own, own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first, and counteth the cost? Whether they have, they have, whether he have, he hath sufficient, to, sufficient see to finish it. Lest happily, after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it began to mock him, saying, "This man began to build and was not able to finish." Or what king, going to make war against another king, sitteth not down first? and consulteth whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000. Or else, while the others is yet a great way off, he sendeth an embassage or ambassador and desireth conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Salt is good, but if the salt has, ha, hath lost its savor, lost its savor, wherewith shall it be seasoned? It is neither fit for the land, nor yet with a dung, nor yet for the dunghill, but men cast it out. He that hath ears, to let him hear. Ears to hear, let him hear. Chapter fifteen. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. The Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners, and eateth with them. He spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having an, a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, does not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which, that which is lost, until he find it? When he hath found it, he layeth on it on his shoulders, rejoicing. When he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and his neighbors, saying unto him, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which I have lost, which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons, which need no who need no repentance. Either what woman, having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it. When he, she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto thee, There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repenteth. He said, A certain man had two sons, 
The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. Not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey unto a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. When, when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in, in that land, and he began to be in want. He went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and sent him into his fields to feed swine. He, had, he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. When he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. He arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. The son, the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am, and am no, worthy, no more worthy to be called thy son. The father said to his servants, Bring forth but the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on, on his hand and shoes on his feet. Bring hither the fatted calf and kill it. And let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. They began and they began to be merry. Now his elder son was in the field. And, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and, and dancing. He called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. He, the servant said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father hath killed the fatted calf, because he hath received him safe and sound. The el elder brother was angry, and would not go in, therefore came his father out and entreated him. He, uh, he answering said to his father, the older, oldest brother, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgress I at any time my, thy commandments, and yet thou never gavest me a kid. Then I make, make that I may marry a kid of the goats, that I may, that I might, that I might make merry. Oh, try to say that, that I might make merry, <laughs> make merry with my friends. Try saying that five times fast. But as soon as I, as this thy son has, was come, with, who hath devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fat of the calf. The father said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should be, make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead, and is alive again, and was lost, and is found. Chapter 16 He said unto, Jesus said unto his disciples, There was a certain rich man who, who had a steward, and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. He called him the steward, and said unto him, How is it that I hear this of thee? Give an account of thy stewardship, for thou mayest no, be no longer my steward. Then the steward said, said within himself, What shall I do? For my Lord taketh away from me the stewardship I cannot dig to beg, I am ashamed. I am resolved what to do, that when I, have, when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. So he called every one of his lord's debtors unto him, and said unto the first, How much owest thou? How much owest thou unto my lord? The debtors, the debtor said, A hundred measures of oil. The steward said unto him, Take thy bill and sit down quickly and write fifty. And then said he to another, And how much owest thou? And he said, A hundred measures of wheat. The steward said unto him, Take thy bill and write four score, or eighty. Write eighty. The Lord commended the unjust steward because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. I say unto thee, Make to yourselves friends with the, 
with the mam of the mammon of their unrighteousness, that when you fail, that they may receive you into everlasting habitations. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteousness, unrighteous mammon, who will commit who will commit to your trust the true riches? If ye have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who who shall give you that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Uh, the word for mammon there, I think, is wealth. Yeah, serve God and wealth. The, the Pharisees also, verse 14, the Pharisees also, who were covetous, heard all these things, and they de derided him, Jesus. He said unto them, Jesus said unto them, Ye are they who justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth her, God knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is, ab is abomination in the sight of God. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presseth into it. It is easier for heaven and earth to pass that one that one tittle the law to fail. Whosoever putteth away his wife and marrieth another committeth adultery, and whosoever marry, marrieth her who is put away from her husband committeth adultery. There was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. There was a certain beggar named Lazarus who was laid at his gate full of sores, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. Came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. In hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. The rich man cried and said, cried, saying, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, excuse me, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But, uh, but Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and like, likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. Beside all this, between you, us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they, would, they who would pass from hence, that to you cannot. Neither can they pass to us who would come from thence. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, Father Abraham, that thou wouldest send him, to, send him Lazarus, to my fa father's house, for I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. He said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. Abraham said to the rich man, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. And that's all the reading of, or actually I can do one more chapter. Uh, 17. Then said he, then said Jesus unto his disciples, It is impossible, but that offenses will come, but woe unto him through whom they come. It were, be, it were better for him that a millstone be, were hanged about his neck and he cast into the sea, and he be cast into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. Take heed to yourselves, that thy brother trespass against thee. Rebuke him, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. If he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. The apostles said unto him, The apostles said unto him, Lord, increase our faith. 
The Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto the sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be, be thou planted in the sea, and it shall obey you. But which of you having a servant having a servant plowing or feeding cattle will say unto him by and by when he has come from the field go and sit down to eat to meet will not rather say and not say to him make ready wherewith I may sup and gird thyself and serve, serve me till I have eaten and drunken and afterward thou shalt eat and drink doth he Doth he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. Trow, verse 9. Trow, I think not. Yeah, I think not. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all these things which are commanded thee, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. It came to pass as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. As he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men who were lepers, which stood afar off. They lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass, as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God fallen down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But there, where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. The stranger said unto him, uh, uh, or Jesus said unto him, excuse me, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. When he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God shall come, he answered him and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Jesus said unto his disciples, The days will come when you shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. They shall say unto you, unto thee, See here or see there, go not after them, nor follow them. For as the lightning that lighteneth out of the one part of the under heaven shineth unto the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, and they married wives, and they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But at the same day that Lot went out of the Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day he, he who shall be upon his housetop and his stuff in the, in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his own life shall lose him. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding together, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. They answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And, and the Lord said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. And that's the reading of Luke from chapter 13 to 17. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.